today's headline Tinumbu, if you mess up because some people did not vote you, history will forget you soon. Shijoki Ugoke says. You're welcome to this news and thank you for tuning in to this channel. But please kindly subscribe to this YouTube page by clicking on the subscribe button and also the bell for more updates. And you can as well like, click on the like button and share button. Now to the news details, carefully listening to the end. The Southeast area allegedly failed to support the president elect in the previous election. According to multiple assertions made by members of the APC and the Tinumbu camp. As a result, the area won't be chosen for the Zenith presidency. The cohabitation in Nigeria, according to Dr. Shijioke Ugoke, a global affairs specialist, is not accurately represented by these arguments. In an interview with AIT, he asserted that the president elect had become the nation's property. He mentioned the over 14 million voters who abstained from voting for him in the most recent election. According to him, Tinumbu cannot say that he will only represent the 8 million voters who voted him in the most recent election. I believe that being a patriot requires that we consider issues other than ethnicity, he said. As president of Nigeria, you have attained the highest office. Soon, your photographs will be on display. History won't remember you in a few years if you go there and mess up. However, if you want to make a lasting effect on people, you must exhibit statesmanship and patriotism. Now concerning this news, what Shijioke is trying to say is, the president-elect should not only look at those states that voted for him, he should consider every state because everyone has right they are they voted for other parties and not vote for the APC. And if he did not do what he's supposed to do in other states, history will forget Tinumbu very soon. Because very soon he's going to leave the power of being the president of Nigeria. So if he wants to fight corruption, if he wants to build infrastructure and any other thing, he should also look at the Southeast. But the major thing now is about the Zenith presidency. That is supposed to be actually zoned to the Southeast. But if the president-elect is viewing that the Southeast did not vote, so he cannot put them in power, won't that be an issue? The president-elect should not look at ethnicity here, should not look at religious. But we all know that what he's saying is actually not true. That Tinumbu has a mindset and has an ideology of what he wants to do. Remember that when he went to River State to commission the projects, he said he will not be biased. He is going to make sure that infrastructure is done in every state, even those that do not vote for him. But the Igbo people are in court to recover a stolen mandate. And at the same time, they are fighting to recover for, for what had been given to the South South. Why are Igbos always against us, even though we are neighbors? We have been supporting the Igbos since. Now is the South South to be the Zenith president. But the South East, the Igbos, are claiming that since they have not given them the presidency, so the South, the Zenith presidency, should be zoned to them. If you want to support the Igbos, the Igbos 
should actually calm themselves down and not give the president-elect issues. The issue of court case pursuing for mandates does not start with the Igbos and will not end with them. The Igbos, you expect Tinumbu to leave those who voted for you and give Zenith presidency to your region that did not vote for you? The same Tinumbu you sued to court over the same election. You want dividends from a company where you did not invest your money. It is not possible. It can never happen. Because this is there is no tribalistic issue here. E, but Igbos are too tribalistic and they are not accommodating. But they should leave the president-elect to do what he wants to do. He, he has not spoken. He's just saying it should be zoned to the south-south and a Christian. If it is not the turn for the southeast, then they should come till when it is their time. With everything Burawi did to the southeast, despite the fact that they did not vote for him, their hatred for him only continued. Hence, no point Tinumbu wasting time on them. So, tell Jagaban this way you can tell your people to vote him. Igbo people should know that they cannot reap where they did not sow. Tinumbu is a political guru. His, ma ma um, his mentality is highly working as a good IQ based on this politics issue. So, it is led for Tinumbu, but the Igbos should know that it has been zoned to South South and they are thinking, giving it to Senator Akpabio. We have come to the end of the news. What's your view concerning this? Please share your comments in the comment section. Thank you.